So I just wanted to issue a fairly quick um, correction from my previous video. So in the tutorial on using IR Mavericks in the Harrier, I mentioned that the FLIR shaders are currently broken and not working properly. And that while objects don't stand out and had no heat signature visually, I was still able to pick up a lock with the Maverick Seeker head and fire a missile just fine. I even had the hotspots on the HUD. As many of you are painfully aware, when the DCS Apache came out, it came with an upgraded FLIR, but also broke the existing one on many of the other jets, and some of them, to this point, still haven't been fixed. So my mistake was assuming that the Harrier was one of them. And if we switch over to the FLIR shader here, the fact that this doesn't stand out, but I could still pick up a contrast lock with the missile, led me to believe that the Harrier was just one of those jets with a broken FLIR shader that needed to be fixed. However, the truth is much more interesting than that. It turns out that FLIR actually has a, a more realistic implementation now, and this is just a, a cold BTR. So it really doesn't have contrast. The, the issue, the misleading part of it, is that the Maverick Seeker head is still using the old implementation. And if you've been playing DCS for a while, you would know that um, on any kind of infrared screen like this, anything that could produce a heat signature, no matter how small or no matter how localized, the entire object would just light up. Um, so this whole thing would just be glowing under the old logic. And so that's what I was expecting to see. And even as somebody who follows the weekly patch notes, because I don't spend a lot of time in jets like this, because I spend a lot of time in older analog stuff and helicopters and things, I missed it. I just completely missed it. I was not aware that this was an upgrade that was going on or had happened or was in progress. So if I just move down the road a little ways, right here, look at this. This has been a BTR that's been driving up and down the road and you can see far more realistic and accurate hotspots here. It's warm at the back, brighter at the back here where the engine is and colder up near the front where the engine isn't which makes sense and this is really really cool to see it just i never got as far as actually placing a moving object now even on the maverick seeker head i can see contrast here from all these driving vehicles whereas the ones behind them tend to blend in and if i go into ir map, map mode and lock on the maverick seeker head will then track this vehicle as it moves and this becomes a really nice um, nice weapon choice for a moving target with a nice strong heat signature Whereas before, you could just use an IR Maverick on anything, even if it was just sitting there parked and not generating any heat because of the simplified implementation of infrared in DCS. Rifle. And we can go pick another one over here. And the same idea. Rifle that off. And there you go. Even on a moving target, it'll maintain that contrast lock all the way down to the ground. And there's the other one. So, yeah. Turns out that uh, Fleer and the Harrier isn't broken and is actually uh, being improved. Anyway, thanks to those of you who corrected me in the comments and in my DMs. I really do appreciate that. And I hope you have a wonderful day.